about to start the 1930 season. First game for the Red Sox is the against the Washington Senators. Washington Senators are home today here at beautiful Griffith Stadium in downtown Washington, D.C. Out in the field for the Senators is Furpo Marbury pitching. Buddy Rule doing the catching. Joe Judge at first. Buddy Meyer at second. At third base is Ozzie Blues. At short, Joe Cronin. Goose Gosselin in left, Sam Weston center, and Sam Rice in right field. They're ready to get started. Jack Rothrock at the plate. Furpo Marbury from the stretch. Here's the pitch. Uh, bouncing ball to third base. Ozzie Blues cannot get to it. Jack Rothrock at first base. Gosselin fires it into Cronin. It's a single for Jack Rothrock. Next up for the Red Sox, Otis Miller, their third baseman. Furpo Marbury looks back the runner. From a stretch, here's the pitch. Pop fly down the left field line. Ozzy Blues underneath it in foul territory, and he makes the catch. Rothrock holds at first. There's one out in the inning. Digging in now for the Red Sox is their center fielder, Tom Oliver. Rothrock still at first base. Marbury gets the sign. Here's the pitch. Fly ball. Short right field. Sam Rice is under it. And he makes the catch. Two outs in the bottom of the first inning. Still a run around first. Russ Scarred up next, left fielder. Furpo Marbury from the stretch. Here's the pitch. Fly ball, center field. West is under it. Routine play, and that's the third out of the inning. The Red Sox leave one runner on. Scored no runs on one hit at the end of a half. Sanders zero, Red Sox zero. Bottom of the first inning, the Red Sox take the field. Your Boston Red Sox today consist of Danny McFadden doing the pick and duty, Johnny Heving, a catcher, Phil Tott, first base. Over at second is Bill Regan. At the hot corner, Otis Miller. At short, Bill Norleski. And in the outfield, left to right, we have Russ Scarrett, Tom Oliver, and Jack Rothrock. Sam West will lead off for the Senators. He's playing center field today. McFadden from the windup. Here's the pitch. Puff fly, right field. Rothrock has it lined up. And he makes the catch. One up, one down. Next up, Senators right fielder, Sam Rice. McFadden gets the sign. Here's the windup. And the pitch. Hot shot to right field. It's going to drop in for a hit. Rothrock gets in quickly. And Rice is held to a single. Runner on first. For the left fielder, Goose Goslin. McFadden working from the stretch. Holding Rice on at first base is top. Gets his sign. Here's the pitch. Line drive to right field. Rothrock cannot get it. There goes Rice, rounding second on his way to third. Rothrock throws into second base. That's going to put runners at the corner. Single by Goose Gosselin. So after back-to-back -back singles, the Senators are threatening. Runners on first and third. Only one out. That'll bring up the second baseman, Buddy Meyer. Mick Fadden from the stretch. Here's the pitch. Oh, he hit him. Meyer hit in the leg. It's awarded first base, and that's going to load the bases. Next up for the Sanders, their shortstop, Joe Cronin. McFadden's got the, ba the bases loaded jam. Hoping to get out of it with maybe a double play. Gets the sign from Heaven from the stretch. Here's the pitch. Hard line drive to right field. Rice is going to score. Rothrock up with it quickly. That's going to be a single. Rice scores. Gosselin holds at third and Meyer holds at second. Base is still loaded. One out. 
Next up, the Senators with the bases loaded. Still only one out. A run in is Joe Judge, first baseman. Danny McFadden looks for the sign. He has it. Here's the pitch. Fly ball. Pop up to the catcher. He has it quickly. Fires over to third. They doubled up Gosselin. Two outs, one play. McFadden gets out of the jam. At the end of one, Sanders one, Red Sox zero. Top half of the second inning. Marbury still on the mound. Bill Reagan, second baseman, coming to the plate. Here's the windup and the pitch. Fly ball deep to center field. West is under it at the track. Makes the catch. One out. Next up for the Sox, first baseman Phil Tott. Marbury gets a sign. Here's the windup and the pitch. Lazy fly ball. Center field. West is under it. He puts it away for the second out of the inning. Uh, approaching the plate next, the shortstop, Bill Narleski. Once again, Marbury gets a sign. Here's the pitch. Narleski lines a hot shot. Third base. Blues is there, though. Catches it for out three. Three up, three down. Sox go down Norder. At the end of one and a half, it's the Senators one. Red Sox, zero. Leading off for the Senators in the bottom of the second inning is their third baseman, Ossie Blues. Make Fadden from the windup. Here's the pitch. There's a cracker down to shortstop. Narleski up with it. Fires over to Tut for the first out of the inning. Step into the plate now. The catcher, Muddy Rule. McFadden gets the sign. Here's the windup. And the pitch. Oh, he got him. Second batter hit today by McFadden. Rule takes his base. But it went run around first with one out. Step into the plate now is the pitcher, Furpo Marbury. Money rule at first base. McFadden checks him. McFadden gets the sign. Here's the pitch. Marbury squares around to butt. Down the first baseline. Tot's got it. He'll take it himself. Money rule goes to second base. That's a sacrifice for Furpo Marbury. Two outs. Runner on second man. Up next for the Senators is their leadoff hitter, Sam West. Last time up in the first inning, he flew out to right field. McFadden checks the runner. Rule at second. He gets the sign. Here's the pitch. Strike three. Sam West goes down on strikes to end the game, end the inning. Senators lead one. No hits, no runs that inning at the end of two innings. It's the Red Sox zero and the Sanders one. On to the third inning. Johnny Heving's up at the plate. Heving doing the catching duties today for the Red Sox. Marbury on the mound. Here's the windup. Here's the pitch. Just outside. Heving takes ball four. Gonna put a runner on first base. Next up for the Red Sox is Danny McFadden. Pitching today, hoping to help his own cause. Marbury's having to go from the stretch. He looks back heavy at first base. Gets the sign. Here's the pitch. Soft ground ball to third base. Blues is up with it. Fires on the second. They retire heavy. McFadden safe at first base. One out in the inning. Next up for the Sox, their right fielder, Jack Rothrock. McFadden at first base. Marbury looks him back. Marbury gets the sign. Here's the pitch. Puff fly on the left field line. Bluge goes back, and he'll make the catch. Out number two. McFadden stays at first. Two outs, runner on first. Next up, 
is the third baseman, Otis Miller. Otis Miller 0 for 1 today with a pop out to third base. Marbury looks in, checks the runner. Here's the pitch. Sharp ground ball to shortstop. Cronin up with it, a tag second for the third out. The Red Sox come up empty handed. The walk produces nothing at the end of two and a half. It's the Sanders one for the Red Sox zero. We head to the bottom of the third inning. Sam Rice comes to the plate. Rice singled and scored in the first inning. McFadden from the windup. Here's the pitch. Hard ground ball to first base. Tots up with it. Touches the bag for the first down. Next up, Goose Gosling. Gosling roped a single in the first inning. He's one for one in the day. McFadden looks in, gets the sign. Here's the windup. And the pitch. High fly ball deep to center field. Oliver goes back. He's on the track. And he makes the catch. One up, or two up, two down. Stepping to the plate now. Second baseman, Buddy Meyer. McFadden drilled him with a pitch earlier today in the first inning. Meyer digs in. McFadden gets the sign. Here's the pitch. Sharp line drive to center field. It's going to get down. Oliver up with it quickly. Throws into Norleski. Buddy Meyer saved that first with a single. That puts a runner on first. Two outs. For Joe Cronin. Cronin had an RBI single in the first inning. He digs in. McFadden looks back the runner. Here's the pitch. Lazy fly ball to right field. Rothrock's got plenty of time to get under it. He's there. He makes the catch. Side retired. No runs. One hit. One left on base for the Sanders. After three innings, Sanders won, Red Sox nothing. Tom Oliver to lead off the top of the fourth inning for the Red Sox. Oliver flied out to right field to make the second out of the first inning. Marbury looks in, he gets the sign. Here's the pitch. Oliver swings. Line drive, center field. It's going to drop for a hit. West has it. Fires into Cronin, and Oliver is held up at first with a single. Oliver, one for two on the day. Next up, Red Sox left fielder, Russ Scarrett. Scarrett flew out to center in the first inning. Marbury looks back, holding Oliver on. He's from the stretch. Here's the pitch. Scarrett squares around the butt. He drops it down third baseline. Blues has it, fires over to first for the out. It's a sacrifice butt for Russ Scarrett. Oliver moves over to second base. First out of the inning. That'll bring up the Red Sox second baseman, Bill Reagan. Reagan flew out in the second inning, center field. Runner on second, one out. Here's the pitch. Lazy fly ball to right field. Easy play for Rice. He's under it. He makes the grab. Runner has to hold. That's the second out of the inning. Coming to the plate now with a runner in scoring position. The Red Sox first baseman, Phil Tuck. Marbury looks back at Oliver. He's got the sign. Here's the pitch. Deep fly ball to left field. That's going to get in the gap between the left fielder and center fielder. Gosling's got it. Oliver, round third. He's going to score. And Tots into second with a stand up double. Sox even it, even it up. One run to one. Tot and Oliver change places for the next hitter, the shortstop, Bill Narleski. Marbury looks back top. Gets the sign. 
Here's the pitch. Sharp ground ball hit the Blue Jet third base. He's up with it. Fires over to Judge for out number three. But the Red Sox finally strike. One run and two hits. Left one on base. At the end of three and a half. Tie score. One apiece. Leading off the bottom of the fourth inning for the Washington Senators is their first baseman, Joe Judge. Last time up, Judge popped out to the catcher, which resulted in double play as Gosling got picked off at third base. Danny McFadden is going from the windup. He gets the sign. Here's the pitch. Sharp line drive to right field. Rothrock will not be able to get into it. Judge rounds first, but Rothrock gets it in quickly to Reagan. Judge on first base with a, with a leadoff single in the bottom of the fourth inning. Next up, third baseman, Ozzy Blues. McFadden checks on Judge at first base. He gets the sign. Here's the pitch. Blues hard ground ball to Otis Miller at third base. He's up with it. On to Reagan for one out. On to top for two out. Double play. Sox to move double play. Two outs. Base is empty. Next up, the catcher, Muddy Rule. Was hit by a pitch in the second inning. McFadden gets the sign. From the windup. Here's the pitch. Swing by Rule. That's laced into a left field for a base hit. Scarrett gets it in quickly. Rule saves at first for another hit. Runner on first now, two outs. Next up, pitcher Furpo Marbury. Marbury ground out to first in the second inning. McFadden checks the runner. Gets the sign. Here's the pitch. Lazy fly ball to left field, but Scarrett is not going to be able to get to it. That's a base hit for Marbury. Rule holds that second. Two outs. Runners on first and second. For the leadoff hitter, Sam West. West so far 0 for 2 today with a strikeout in the second. McFadden looks back the runners. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. He got out of the jam. West goes down on strikes. Sanders. Blow an opportunity, scoring no runs on three hits. At the end of four, we're still locked up, one to one. To lead off, the top of the fifth inning will be the catcher, Johnny Heving. Heving does not have an official at bat today, however, he did take a walk in the third inning. Burpo Marbury on the mound. From the windup, here's the pitch. Lazy fly ball to center field. Easy play for Sam West. He's under it, and that's the first out of the inning. Coming up next for the Boston Red Sox is the pitcher, Danny McFadden. McFadden 0 for 1 today as he grounded out to end the third inning. Marbury gets the sign. Here's the pitch. Caught looking, McFadden goes down on strikes for the second out of the inning. That'll bring up the top of the order, Jack Rothrock, the right fielder for the Boston Red Sox. Rothrock so far today is one for two with a single in the first. Marbury gets the sign. And the windup and the pitch. Rothrock swings. Fly ball to right field, but plenty of room for Sam Rice. He's under it. He makes the catch for the third out. Red Sox are retired in, so on the, retired in order. And after four and a half innings, Sanders won, Red Sox won. Coming up in the bottom of the fifth inning, the right fielder for the Washington Senators, Sam Rice. Sam Rice, number two hitter, and so far today is one for two with a single and a run scored in the first. Mick Fadden gets the sign. Here's the windup and the pitch. And there's the swing. Line drive, center field, dropping fast. Whoa, wonderful play by Tom Oliver to make the out. Oliver makes a spectacular play to record the first out of the fifth inning. Coming to the plate now, the left fielder, Goose Gosling. 
So far today, one for two with a single in the first inning. Mick Fadden gets a sign. Here's the lineup. The pitch. Goslin swings. High fly ball to left field. Scar has got plenty of room. He's under it. And that's the second out of the inning. Two down. Next up, the Sanders, the number four cleanup hitter. And second baseman, Buddy Meyer. Mick Fadden from the stretch. Here's the pitch. Hot ground ball straight back at McFadden. He's got it. Tosses over the top for the final out of the inning. McFadden retires them in order. At the end of uh, five innings, we're all locked up. Sanders won, Red Sox won. On to the sixth inning. The score tied 1 1 has become a three inning game. First batter for the Boston Red Sox to lead off the sixth is the third baseman, Otis Miller. Miller so far today is 0 for 2. He flew out to the third baseman and they have fielder's choice. Furpo Marbury toes the mound. He goes into the windup. Here's a pitch. Line drive, right field, dropping fast. Oh, excellent play by Sam Rice to retire Otis Miller. That's one out. Next up for the Red Sox is the number three hitter, center fielder, Tom Oliver. One out, nobody on. Marbury in the windup. Here's the pitch. Hard ground ball to third base. Blues is up with it. Over to Judge for the second out of the inning. Two down. That'll bring up the cleanup hitter, Russ Scarrett. Scarrett so far, 0 for 2 today. Looking to turn that around right here. Marbury gets a sign. Here's the pitch. Scarrett swings, fly ball. Center field, easy play for West. West puts it away for the third out. Marbury retires them in order. And at the end of five and a half, still one. Senators, one Red Sox. To the bottom of the sixth inning we go. Leading off for the Washington Senators is shortstop Joe Cronin. Cronin so far today, one for two with an RBI single in the first inning. Mick Fadden gets the sign. Here's the windup and the pitch. Cronin swings, bouncing ball to the shortstop. Narleski has it, fires over to top. For the first out of the inning, one down. Next up, first baseman, Joe Judge. Judge so far today is one for two. Mick Fadden gets the sign. Here's the windup and pitch. Judge got a hold of that one to deep right field. It's over the head of Rothrock. It's up against the wall. Judge rounding first base on his way to second. Rothrock throws it in, not in time. Joe Judge into second with a double. That's the seventh hit of the day for the Sanders. However, it's only produced one run. That'll bring up Ozzy Blues, a third baseman. Blues so far today is 0 for 2, hitting into a double play in the fourth. Mick Fadden gets the sign. Looks, judge, looks at Judge at second base. From the windup, here's the pitch. Blues pops it straight up, heavy under it. He's got it for the second out of the inning. Two down for Muddy Rule. Rule one for one today with a hit by pitch in the second inning. Nick Fadden looks back for the runner. He's got the sign. Here's the pitch. Hard shot to third base. Miller has it. It's a race to the bag between him and Judge. Judge slides and he's safe. Judge is safe at third base. Rule reaches first on a fielder's choice. That's going to put runners at the corner with two outs. That'll bring up the pitcher, Furpo Marbury. Marbury trying to help his own cause. Runner in scoring position at third. Another runner on first base. Make that in from the stretch. Here's the pitch. 
Deep fly ball to left field. Skerritt going back for it. Back, back. He can't get it. It's over his head off the wall. Judge scores from third base. Rule round in third. He's trying to score. Here comes the throw from Norleski. Heving makes a tag and he's safe. Two run score on a two run double by Furpo Marbury. Marbury helps his own cause and puts the Washington team up three to one. Next up, the leadoff hitter, center fielder Sam West. West's having a tough day at the plate today. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts. Mick Fadden from the windup, from the stretch. He looks back, Mick Marbury at second base. Gets the sign. Here's the pitch. Strike three. Sam West goes down on strikes again. That's three strikeouts this game for Sam West. However, Washington strikes with two runs on two hits to take a three to one lead after five and a half, after six innings, sorry, six innings that is. Top of the seventh inning, the Red Sox really need to get it going here if they want to come away with a W today. Leading off the inning will be the Red Sox second baseman, Bill Reagan. Reagan with two flyouts today, one to center, one to right. Burpa Marbury gets the sign. Here's the windup and the pitch. And a high fly ball straight to the catcher. Rules underneath it. He's got it. And that's the first out of the inning. Next up for the Red Sox, the first baseman, Phil Tott. Tott one for two today with an RBI double in the fourth inning. Marbury gets the sign. Here's the pitch. Hard line drive, center field. West is not going to be able to get to it. Top round in first, but he'll have to hold there as West gets the ball into Meyer. One out single for Phil Tom. Next to the play, the Red Sox shortstop, Bill Norleski. Norleski 0 for 2 today, ending the second inning and the fourth inning. Marbury checks Tot at first base. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Ball four call. Marleski takes his slow walk to first base after four balls in a row. Up next for the Red Sox, their catcher, Johnny Heaving. Tot standing at second base in scoring position. Marleski at first base. Furpo Marbury checks the runners. He gets the sign. Here's the pitch. Heaving swings, hot shot to right field. Sam Rice will not be able to get to it. Here comes Todd around third. He's going to score without a throw. Norleski heading to third base. Here's the throw. He slides and he's safe. Norleski gets in the third. Johnny Heving with a one-run single to cut the lead to one. Red Sox are threatening here in the top of the seventh inning. Runners on first and third, and the manager's going to call for a pinch hitter. Bill Sweeney comes to the plate for the first time this season. Marbury checks the runners. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Sweeney takes it, ball four. That'll load up the bases for the Red Sox. That's the second walk of the inning by Marbury. Sanders bringing in a new pitcher, Garland Braxton. Looks like the Red Sox are going to pinch hit for Rothrock as well. Bill Barrett to take over in right field and hit for Rothrock. Base is loaded. One out. Red Sox have a real chance here to put this game away. Braxton checks the runners. Here's the pitch. Pop fly. Third baseman's underneath it. Infield fly rule in effect. He makes the catch anyways. That's the second out of the inning. Two outs now. Base is still loaded. Otis Miller coming to the plate. Miller 0 for 3 today. Braxton gets the sign. Here's the pitch. Fly ball. Deep center field. This one's got a chance. West back of the track. At the wall. Leaps up. And he's got it. Sam West makes an amazing catch to prevent the grand slam. 
That'll retire the side. Not before the Red Sox score one run and two hits, but they left three on base. At the end of six and a half, Sanders three, Red Sox two. Sam Roy, Sanders right fielder, will lead off the bottom of the seventh inning here at Griffith Stadium. George Smith has replaced uh, Danny McFadden at pitcher. Smith so far today, sorry, Rice so far today is 1 for 3 with a run scoring single in the first. George Smith from the windup. Here's the pitch. Lazy fly ball, left field. Easy play for us, Garrett, for the first out of the inning. Next up. Sanders, third hitter, the left fielder, Goose Gosling. George Smith gets a sign. The pitch and the swing. High fly ball to center field, but Oliver's under it and makes the grab for the second out. Next up, second baseman, Buddy Meyer. Meyer, one for two today, and has been hit by the pitch. Smith gets a sign, and here's the pitch. Meyer swings, and a lazy fly ball to center field. Oliver under it, and he makes the catch. George Smith retires the side in order, and at the end of seven, it's the Red Sox two, the Sanders three. To the top of the eighth we go. Tom Oliver is going to take the, pl take the plate. Center fielder for the Red Sox. So far today is one for three, scoring a run in the fourth inning. Garland Braxton from the windup. Here's the pitch and a swing. Oliver, a line drive to center field. That's going to drop for a hit. Oliver rounds first. It's going to hold there, but a leadoff single for Tom Oliver. Next batter, left fielder Russ Garrett. Scare so far, 0 for 3. Hitting into a double play in the fourth inning. Not having a good day at the plate. Braxton looks back the runner. We're on the stretch. Here's the pitch. Scar squares around a bunt. He lays it down the third baseline. Third baseman looks over at second. Only placed at first base. That's a sacrifice play for Russ Scar. Second baseman Bill Reagan will come to the plate with a chance to tie the game. We got Oliver on second base in scoring position. Reagan so far today 0 for 3 with a fly out to the left, a fly out to right, and a fly out to the catcher. Garland Braxton gets the sign. Here's the pitch, and he swings and he misses. Strike 3 for the second out of the inning. Reagan goes down on strikes. Next batter, Phil Tutt. One out. Top of the eighth inning. Runners on first and second. Garland Braxton gets the sign. Here's the pitch. Tutt swings and a line drive to center field. Oliver scores. Scare it. Russ hustles over to third base. Phil Tutt with an RBI single. That ties the game. Three a piece. Runners on first and third. Still only one out. Next to the plate is the Red Sox shortstop Bill Narleski. Narleski 0 for 2 today with a walk. Braxton gets the sign. Here's the pitch and a line drive to center field. That's going to drop for a base hit. Scarrett scores from third. Tot stays at second. That's an RBI single for Bill Narleski. And the Red Sox take a 4-3 lead. Next up is Johnny Heving. Still only one out. Runners on first and third. Sorry, sorry, first and second. Garland Braxton from the stretch. Here's the pitch. Hot ground ball. Another shortstop. Cronin gets it. Tosses the Meyer over to Judge. Double play. Braxton gets out of the inning with a double play on Heavy. But the Red Sox score two runs on three hits and take a 4-3 lead going into the bottom of the eighth. How the game has changed here at Griffith Stadium. 
Red Sox go from one run down to one run up. Go into the bottom of the eighth inning. Leading off the inning, that shortstop Joe Cronin. Cronin one for three today. George Smith from the windup. Here's the pitch and the swing. Cronin crushes one deep to left field. The Skirrett's going back, back. He jumps, he makes the play. Skirrett robs a home run from Joe Cronin. That's the first out of the inning. Next batter is Joe Judge. Judge having a good day at the plate. Two for three today. Smith gets the sign. Here's the pitch. Pop straight up. Having under it. And that's the second out of the inning. Next up for the standers. Their third baseman, Ozzie Blues. He's had a great day in the field, but 0-3 at the plate. Smith gets the sign. Here's the pitch. Straight back at him. George Smith has it. Flips over to first base for the final out of the inning. George Smith puts him down in, in order. A one, two, three for the second inning in the row. At the end of eight, Red Sox four, Sanders three. On to the ninth inning we go. The pitcher, George Smith, is going to lead it off for the Boston Red Sox. His first at, first at bat of the day. Braxton gets the sign. Here's the windup and the pitch. Smith swings at the first pitch. But past the third baseman, Blues into left field for a hit. Smith will round first and he'll hold there. Lead off single, George Smith. Next batter for the Red Sox, Bill Bear, who took over in right field and pinched hit for Rothrock in the seventh. Barrett 0 for 1 today. George Smith at first. Braxton looks him back. Here's the pitch. Barrett straight back to the pitcher. He bunted over to first for the first. Oh, wait, he's safe. He's safe. All runners on safe. That's going to put runners on first and second. Runners on first and second for the Red Sox third baseman, Otis Miller. Over four today, trying to turn that around. Braxton looks in and gets the sign. He turns, he fires his second. George Smith is out. Picked off that second base for the first out of the inning. That takes the runner out of scoring position. Otis Miller still at the play. Now with one out, runner on first. Braxton looks back the runner. Here's the pitch. Pop fly. Second baseman. Myers underneath it, and he makes the play. Runner cannot advance. Next batter up for the Red Sox, the center fielder, Tom Oliver. Oliver today is two for four, scoring two of the Red Sox four runs. Marlon Braxton looks in. From the stretch, here's the pitch. That's ball four. Oliver gets a free base. That'll, that'll run runners to first and second base. Runners on first and second now. Two out. Russ Gard at the plate. Scarred so far today is 0 for 4 with a fielder's choice in the 8th inning. Braxton looks in from the stretch. Here's the pitch. Straight back at him. Braxton's got it. Flips over to Judge for the final out of the inning. Red Sox threaten but do not score. No runs on one hit. We go to the bottom of the ninth inning. Last chance for the Washington Senators. Leading off is Muddy Rule. Catcher for the Senators. Rule today is one for two with a hit by pitch and a single. George Smith on the mound. From the windup, here's the pitch. Straight back to the pitcher. Smith's got it. Tosses it on the top for the first out of the ninth. Next up for the Sanders is Red Barnes. He'll be pinch hitting for Garland Braxton. George Smith from the windup. Here's the pitch. Slow roller to Bill Reagan at second. He fires on the first for the second out of the inning.
Less needed that. Oh, for four today with three strikeouts until that double. Runner in scoring position now. Tying run at second. Next batter is Sam Rice. Sam Rice so far today is one for four. Hasn't had a hit since the first inning. George Smith looks back the runner. From the windup, here's the pitch. And that's ball four. Sam Rice gets first base on a bases on balls. Runners on first and second. Sanders threatening here in the bottom of the ninth. Tying run on second. Winning run on first. Goose Gosselin at the plate. Gosselin today is one for four. George Smith from the stretch. Here's the pitch. One shot center field. It's dropping, dropping, but no, Oliver has it. What a spectacular catch to end the game. Tom Oliver, third out of the inning, and the game is over. What a fantastic game. Final score, final stats, Red Sox, four runs on nine hits and no errors. Washington Senators, three runs on nine hits and no errors. Red Sox take the first game of the 1930 season. Thanks for joining us. Hope to see you again. The one constant through all the years, Ray, has been baseball. America is ruled by like an army of steel.